Hey, all you lovely people, welcome to my channel, or if you've been here before, hey, welcome back. My name is Lay, and for today's video, you know, today's the last day of May. Today's the last day of Bratz Month, so I thought it would be a cute idea to show some gratitude with some gratitude to pay tribute to our girls. Basically, I've asked a few people from the Bratz community to kind of show their gratitude for the girls with gratitude and just kind of talk about their first Bratz doll or their most prized Bratz doll. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hey, so I am coming to you as my most prized Bratz doll in my collection, Tokyo Agogo Sasha. Now growing up, I couldn't have girl dolls. I'd have boy dolls because you know, G.I. Joe and shit. But I couldn't have girl dolls. So I picked this doll out for my cousin, I wanna say in like 2005. Went to the birthday party, woo woo woo. And then here's how my mind worked as a child. I can't have this doll, but I'ma pick the doll that I would pick for myself and give it to you as a gift. And then anytime I would go over to her house, I would just play with my doll because this was my doll. I played with her every time I was over there. I'm just like, listen, I already knew the outfits. I already knew what I wanted to do with her. Like she was just my favorite. She still is one of my favorites to be real. And she's from my favorite line. So yeah, that is my story with her. And she's just gorgeous. Like look at her. I love her so much. Period. Hi guys, it's Prestigious Brat, and I wanted to show y'all my most prized possession brat stall that I have in my collection. And this one is a new recent one. So this is Formal Funk Jade. Formal Funk is one of my favorite brat stall lines, and I just completed it. Jade was one of the ones that I've been wanting, and I honestly couldn't find her for a good price. I honestly was about to give up on getting her because nobody was selling her for a good price and complete because I'm a very picky collector. Being patient, I stumbled across her in the box for a really good price. She is so beautiful. She is very special to me because she was one of my most wanted brat dolls and not only that i got her for my four year anniversary of collecting brats but before her my favorites and prized possessions are formal fun sasha because i got her for my 19th birthday and she was one of my first completed formal funk dolls and she is just so beautiful i love this color palette on her she looks so stunning wild wild west kiana she was a journey to get at the time and i was lucky enough to get her for a really good price before all the scalpers got to her but my newest prized possession is beautiful Forma Funk Jade. She's so gorgeous if you have been wanting to get a brat doll or any doll and you just feel like you're about to give up babe it's okay patience is key when it comes to doll collecting and honestly I was about to give up on getting her too. A doll that you've been wanting is gonna come up when you least expect it and don't lose hope guys like you'll get your dream doll don't worry. She is so beautiful and I'm so happy to have her in my collection. What's going on, you guys? It is me, Drew Galaxy, aka Galaxy Brats, on my doll page on Instagram, and we are here to answer a few questions. So the first question is, what or who, sorry, is your first Bratz doll? This is my very first Dylan since I was six years old. Oh my gosh, he's been literally everywhere. Been to the beach, he's been to the pool, he's been to the hot tub, he's literally been everywhere and he's still around so, the second question oh my gosh i was like girl now i thought we was friends you set me up with a loaded question so the second question was who is your most prized brats doll come on now you're gonna set me up to just pick my most like one okay so let me take you on this journey and we'll see where we end so when i first heard most prize brats doll i'm like okay campfire felicia because baby i was literally shook when i got her and then basketball dylan so i was thinking like those two because i would be so heartbroken if i had to get rid of them or if anything happened to them i love them then my brain was like well you are definitely like a new inbox collector so out of these two you don't have campfire felicia inbox so Oh, we're gonna go with basketball dylan but then my boyfriend was like now are you gonna tell me out of 
all of your dolls this is the only one that i would keep so i'm like that wasn't the question you know so then i had to get back to the question i'm like you know i don't touch because the question was most prized i do not touch campfire felicia much at all and i do not touch the brat boys twins zach and alec like at all they live on my shelf so most prize i'm like okay i i think these two you know now that i'm thinking about it like i don't touch them they're they are a gem in my collection you know but then i'm like baby most prize might have to go to if i got rid of any of them who would just have to stay and then tess comes in the mix like tess and felicia like they come back to the front even though I love these boys, I love them, I really do. These two come back to the front and when it really comes down to it, if I really just had to pick one, it would have to be Campfire Felicia. Like, I'm I'm so sorry. Here we are again, first brats and my most prized brats. Thank you so much for including me in this brats appreciation post. Today I wanna to talk about some of the most nostalgic dolls in my collection. So I have had play sports dance Fiona since I was about eight years old. And ever since then, I have just taken really special good care of her. Um, I brushed her hair consistently. And I just think I've always known that I've had like a special attachment to her. Winter Wonderland Jade will always be one of my absolute all time favorite Bratz dolls because I lost her somewhere along the way. I remember getting her for Christmas and just really um, connecting her with, you know, Christmas and the holidays. So I did lose her. So it was just kind of like when I was older, it was that chase of how can I find her? How can I get this doll and bring that nostalgia back to me? So I did that. All right, my favorite, well, my first Brett saw that I ever got is Eye Candy's Phoebe. Um, as a kid, I had her in like middle school, I probably was like 10, 11, 12, something like that. And my friend across the street gave me her eye candy TV because I guess she was growing out of playing with dolls, but she was naked and her hair was busted and I didn't have any type of tools to fix it or even knew how because I wasn't allowed to have dolls. So I play with my Phoebe in the closet, literally. And I just recently got her as a collector. I got her new inbox and I love her so much. She just brings back so many memories. Now I definitely have to say my most prized rest doll is this woman right here. Campfire Felicia, whether it's a repower or not, this doll right here means so much to me as a black doll collector. Like finally being able to own this doll and to have two of her at that, like for the longest, like y'all know it was like a myth if you were ever gonna get this doll in your collection because of how badly she was scalped because of her skin tone, literally just because of her skin tone. So to be able to own her and not only have one of her, but two of her new in box for retail, I mean, like it doesn't get any better than that. Like this is the doll to have in the Bratz collection. Everybody knows that. So I would definitely have to say this is my most prized possession rest all. Honorable mention to these two divas, just cause they're my favorites. Like in general, these are my favorites. Girls Night Out Jade and I like Safari Never, but I feel honored to have two Felicias in my collection after the her being Scout by you racist for years. Hey, I'm here for lay. <laughs> 
It's me, Coco Bear, and of course, well, oh no, it's Coco. You can find me here, there, everywhere. Not lately, though. <laughs> Leave up to Leia to get me out of hiding. Come back on camera, say hi, um, because it's a very important month, and uh, she has been working hard to put this all together. And finals were last week, so I've been slacking. However, hopefully she accepts my apology. Um, hopefully she still gets her video out on time. If I'm not in this because of that, that's my fault. I don't want to write that. <laughs> Regardless, LA has invited me on her channel. Thank you again. Um, so I can talk a little bit about Bratz because it's Bratz month. Their anniversary again. Uh, we're very excited to be in this era. This is something that like in 2018, well, anything after 2015, we really thought we weren't going to have again. So I'm glad that we are having that renaissance come back and we're getting brats again. As we can see, we have a lot going on and they're back in our faces. And honestly, step here, come on. <laughs> so ladies invited me on here to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, just my experience with brats, um, their legacy, you know, how they've had an impact on me um, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? We're celebrating all things brats. Um, <clears throat> So I'm gonna start off with a doll that, um, like I guess like just in general, you know, my sister's, had, my younger sister had Barbies. I didn't, despite me having some somewhere over here, I didn't really care for her all that much, Barbie. Um, I thought she was definitely a girl's toy. I thought that she definitely was made for her audience. I wasn't all that into it. It wasn't until my sister got Bratz dolls that I started to be like, oh, okay. And it didn't really click for me until she got this doll. And granted, this isn't the, obviously the doll that she had, but I had to get him again, Mr. Tokyo Go Eden. I have not opened this one up yet, although I didn't recognize what happened. Might have to open him up. Regardless, um, Tokyo Go Eden was um, probably one of the first Brad dolls that I've ever looked at and wanted to be. You know what I mean? For me, the boys in general, they just weren't fashion. I mean, they weren't like this isn't, you know, boyfriends to somebody specifically. You know, this is their own line, basically. You know, Brad's Boys, Tokyo Go Go, not just Brad's. Whereas um, Barbie would probably have Barbie and Ken or something like that. He's an accessory. This is not. <clears throat> what I really liked is the colors. You know, I saw the all the fabric pieces, all the textiles. Like, I just kind of liked everything about him. Uh, the little details in his shirt. Uh, you can see the little people on there, which is cute, giving me apple. Just everything. There's so much detail in each one of these pieces. Uh, they even made these little anime characters and stuff like that. I uh, consider in Tokyo, obviously. Uh, the keychains, the cards, like everything was iconic. I specifically remember being a kid and being like, I want blue streaks in my hair. So, and that's because of him. I remember just staring at him and just being like, this is a cool doll. And I still think to this day that if they made uh if they he um if mga were to be like oh you know these are gonna be made for boys specifically i think that probably would have worked to be honest because i'm looking at this and it's not very like it's it's interesting clothing it's not like oh jeans and a t-shirt this look i mean i want some of those you know the denim and the leather look you know corduroy being used it's just the attention to detail, everything about this, including the box, you know, you got some of the girls up there, just everything. It was so smart. And this is what really solidified me into Bratz. Bratz Boys Tokyo Go Eating. All right, all right. So I want to share one thing with the Bratz community and everyone who loves and is obsessed with Bratz like I am since I was basically a little kid. So. I just want to say this doll is like probably one of my favorites if not the most favorite doll. I have so many but since I like need to choose the one that is kind of like maybe the best for me I will choose this beauty. It's Jade Princess. Like I like her style so much. I like the colors. I like the doll i like everything about this line and this doll is so special to me as you can see i just renovated my apartment and everything is basically 
in these kind of colors like rose gold, like pastel colors, this light pink. Oh, I'm so obsessed with this color. So she goes so well with my apartment. So <laughs> she's currently my obsession. So this doll is my favorite. Yay. Hey angels, it's Lookin' Bratz, AKA Dom. Thank you so much for having me on this video. I just wanna say a happy 23rd birthday to the only girls with a passion for fashion, the Bratz. Thank you so much for the impact you have had on my life and the lives of many others. I hope that this is a great 23rd year for the brand and hopefully there are many, 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 many more years to come. And I will say one of my most prized Bratz dolls is actually a reproduction. It's the reproduction Wild Wild West Kiana from the Series 2 line from just two years ago. And I love her so much because the original Wild Wild West Kiana was my first Brad stall ever, or at least the first one I remember owning, and I really, really cherished her. So to own a reproduction of her is so special to me, so I really cherish this doll. So I remember getting this doll in January of 2003. I believe this line was released in 2002. Um, but I remember very vividly because my grandmother, she passed away in June of 2002 and I was very, very close to her and literally when she died, everything changed. Um, we lost our house. We lost a lot of stuff. Um, I was the only child growing up, so I had a lot of Barbie dolls and those got lost and you know, it had been a really hard time for me and my mom to adjust to life without my grandma. And so she took me to the Kmart. That's where I used to get all of my Barbie dolls. And she's told me to pick out a doll, you know? And of course, you know, I was looking at the Barbies, but nothing was, you know, kind of sticking out to me. And I don't know, I just happened to see this doll right here. I saw her and I was like, oh my gosh, she is so cool. You know, she's a black doll. Like, I'm like, I don't know what brats are, but I'm like, her feet, they pop off, that's weird. But I loved her outfit so much. And I just knew I had to have her. And this doll got me through so many like rough times. Whenever I felt sad, I would just switch out her outfit. My mom did buy me a shoe fashion pack um, that Brad had released back then. And so I would switch out her shoes and the shoes would match the outfits too. Um, but this doll got me through some really rough times. And, you know, I just felt so alone sometimes. But this doll just, I don't know, she just... She was there for me. She was like my friend. And uh, I, I love her to bits and pieces. And I will never forget my mom, you know, buying her for me. And I can still remember seeing her on the shelf. You know, um, it's really crazy the power that dolls really have over you. And that's why I really wanted to make this video so that everyone could showcase their love for brats. And even though the majority of us are all adults now, um, I'm sure we all had really wonderful memories of owning these dolls. And of course, this isn't my original doll that I had. You know, she's long gone. But um, I had to get her new in box, you know, just to have her and to see her in her glory. Before I did get her new in box, I purchased this one right here. I purchased her out of box and there she is. I put her in her second outfit so y'all could, you know, see her. In her second outfit it kind of looks like her lip color is lighter on this one versus the other one she also has a little bit a little bit of a lip chip but that's okay um but yeah i i love this doll so much y'all she means the world to me my first ever brats doll and you know after that i got the step out yasmin doll and then i stopped collecting for a while because you know i was a teenager i had a little boyfriend and then, you know, started collecting again and I haven't stopped ever since. But yeah, y'all, she is my pride and joy. And without her, I would not love Bratz as much. So thank you, MGA, for creating this beautiful, diverse line. Uh, Bratz means so much to me. This doll, all my dolls mean a lot to me. But this one right here, she's the one that started it all. You could say she's like <laughs> the Mickey Mouse of my collection, you know, number one. But yeah. 
Alrighty, y'all, that is the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. And a huge thank you to all those who were able to participate. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for sharing your stories about the girls with a passion for fashion. Thank you, MGA. Thank you, Carter Bryant. Thank you, Jasmine Larian. Thank you, Isaac Larian, for taking a chance on these four wonderful, diverse characters that we all know and love. And that has brought us all closer together no matter where we might be because that is the true essence of brats in my personal opinion but once again thank you all so much for watching i appreciate your support have a super styling night or a day wherever you may be and i will see you real soon bye